The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. Well, old man winter has struck again across much of the region as a trough of low pressure is moving into the western U.S. with several disturbances circling around the center of it. Now, as this trough slowly moves through the country this week and weekend, the disturbances will create waves of showers, thunderstorms, and snowstorms here in the northern tier. And this is what many ranchers call a calf killer. And they've been very busy and hard at work taking care of their livestock during this spring storm. Farmers, on the other hand, are getting anxious to get out into the field to plant this spring's crop, but it looks like they may have a few days off once again. But now as the nation's winter wheat areas could see some damaging sub-freezing temperatures by the end of the week, has many producers concerned, but also looking at opportunities as well. There's going to be a fairly significant spring push of cold air coming down behind this system. We're looking at not just the potential, but I think the likelihood of sub-freezing temperatures extending as far south as the northern panhandle of Texas. And in the path of that cold air is winter wheat that's already in poor condition that's already headed. So if we overlap those sub-freezing temperatures with heading winter wheat, that could be another blow to the crop as it doesn't take much below freezing temperatures to cause significant damage to heading wheat. Even before this latest freeze threat for southern winter wheat production states, the national winter wheat condition this week was reported at 39% port of very poor. Now, Montana's in much better shape with just 4% of the crop rate at port of very poor, 65% fair, 29% good, and 2% excellent. 